G'day, it's Fugitive Australian journalist Shane Dowling from the website kangarooquarteraustralia.com. Now, just over a week ago, I published an article in relation to former Prime Minister Scott Morrison leaking a fake story to the ABC to try and boost his reputation, which has been trashed uh, over recent years. Firstly, when he was Prime Minister, and then secondly, after he lost the election, it sort of evidence came forward that he was uh, acting a lot more cropply than we originally thought. But anyhow, he's uh, tried to leak another story, this time to the Sydney Morning Herald, who published an article, which is nothing more than propaganda to boost his uh, reputation, because he's struggling to get another job. Uh, because if you do a research or internet search for his name, you're going to find uh, all the stories about his corruption. So he's trying to leak these stories to build up his reputation, so maybe eventually he can get another job and get out of politics. But I'll start off firstly with just a brief introduction of the article I published just over a week ago, then the ABC article it was based on, and then we'll have a look at the Sydney Morning Herald article, which is basically another version of the ABC article, where it's just pushing uh, leaks by Scott Morrison and his uh, mate Alex Hawke, another federal MP, just sort of pushing propaganda to boost Morrison's reputation. So the article I published on the 10th of September is titled Former Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison Leaked Story to the ABC to Promote Himself Again. And it starts off, Former Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison has been pushing propaganda, promoting himself via the ABC and others in an attempt to help rebuild his shattered reputation so he can get a job and out of politics. Morrison has been trying to get another job for at least 12 months, and likely since his party lost the election in May 2022. But he has failed so far, as he has to be the most unemployable politician in Australian politics, and he knows it. So, what does Morrison do? He leaks a made-up story to the ABC defence correspondent, Andrew Green, but how Morrison gave a speech at a party room meeting on China and foreign affairs and how the other MPs were impressed. Now, I'll just quickly go over the ABC article that I based that story on, which was published on Friday the 8th of September by Andrew Green. And the title is, Scott Morrison says Anthony Albanese shouldn't rush to visit Beijing this year. Former Prime Minister Scott Morrison has warned that his successor should not be too keen to accept an invitation to China, as Anthony Albanese prepares to visit Beijing within months. The ABC can reveal that during a coalition party room meeting earlier this week, Mr Morrison cautioned against X, Y, Z. Then it goes on to say, and I'm just quoting the parts where uh, Andrew Green is uh, quoting so-called uh, Liberal MPs and National MPs, uh, making out some sort of you know, reliable story. And it goes on to say, the former Liberal leader addressed his colleagues then it goes on to say, he was warning us against President Z and his regime, X, Y, Z. Scott Morrison told us, X, Y, Z. Another MP said the former Prime Minister was keen to stress, X, Y, Z. Or bullshit. This is coming straight out of Scott Morrison's mouth and his mate, uh, Alex Hawke. So they're making all this garbage up. Then it goes on to say this ABC article, one opposition MP who listened to the former leader's speech inside Parliament House told the ABC it was generally well received by Liberal and National Party members. Probably came directly from Alex Hawke and maybe even Scott Morrison himself. This is all dribble. Then it goes on to say the article, next month Mr Morrison is expected to travel to Taiwan to address the Yushan Forum, two years after former Liberal colleague and Prime Minister Tony Abbott also spoke at the event where he described China as a bully. And that's how the article finished off. So it should have been an article about uh, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese and his trip to China. But uh, ABC journalist Andrew Green made it all about Scott Morrison trying to rebuild his reputation, making it look like he's a reliable source and how he is well uh, received by others in uh, the party room, the Liberal Party and National Party MPs, which is probably a total lie. A lot of them hate his guts. They know he destroyed the Liberal Party. But the whole article is about rebuilding Scott Morrison's reputation, which has been destroyed. And I alluded to it in the video that uh, we're going to see more of it. And lo and behold, a week later, exactly what happened. Now, the Sydney Morning Herald article uh, was published on Friday the 15th of September. It's got three journalists who published this article, Paul Sackle, Max Madison and James Masala. And the title is Morrison backing voice no campaigner, Mundine for Liberal Senate spot sources. 
making up they've got inside sources. Well, it's come from Morrison and Alex Hawke, <laughs> and it's total bullshit again. And it goes on to say, former Prime Minister Scott Morrison expressed to fellow Liberal Party members his support for prominent voice no campaigner Warren Mundine to replace outgoing Liberal Senator Maurice Payne. Morrison, who remains in Parliament, has backed Mundine for positions previously and has told several party members he is again supporting the 67-year-old who has developed a national profile via the voice referendum. Sources close to Morrison, who spoke anonymously because party rules prohibit public commentary about pre-selections, confirmed the Cook MP was backing Mundine and would likely provide a formal endorsement if and when Mundine announced his candidacy. And it goes on to say, Alex Hawke, Morrison's key ally and leader of the centre-right faction, and discussed him and what he's been saying. So that's where the leak's coming from, Alex Hawke and Morrison. And as far as uh, Morrison uh, supporting Warren Mundine, well, that's a kiss of death. Half the people, 90% of the people probably, the Liberal Party hate Morrison because they know Morrison destroyed the party. Now, both those articles were leaked on the Friday, obviously after the party room meeting. They're not supposed to be leaking. They're not supposed to be leaking about pre-selections. It's coming directly from Morrison and Alex Hawke. And they might have got one or two others to make up bullshit statements with the journalists. And they're trying to make it look like Morrison has credibility within the party room, which he doesn't. He doesn't have credibility within the party room, and he certainly doesn't have credibility within the public. But uh, any potential employer who does a internet search for Morrison is going to find all those stories about him being corrupt. So by uh, publishing these articles by the ABC and the Sydney Morning Herald, they're sort of pushing those other articles down the line as far as uh, searches are concerned. And, and they're trying to flood the internet with stories uh, making uh, Morrison look like a credible person and a respected person within the Liberal Party. So that way, hopefully, he can get another job and out of politics. And who's helping him? Well, Andrew Green at the ABC and three journalists that took to write that Sydney Morning Herald article. they got three of them up there. Uh, Paul Sackle, Max Madison and James Masala. Could have taken a first year uh, journalist student uh, half an hour to write that story, but it took three experienced journalists to write that story, <laughs> which is a total lie. It's total propaganda and they should have been ashamed to put their names to it. Because that's how the old media collude with the corrupt politicians. They just need to ride out the media cycle and then all of a sudden they'll, everyone forgets about it and they start writing stories about these politicians making out they're legitimate people. As long as they can ride out the corruption scandals they're involved in for a week or two, in relation to Morrison, it's been a couple months, ride out those corruption scandals where he corruptly pointed himself to five ministries. He had mates left, right and centre winning big contracts. Uh, government contracts, etc. Well, as long as he can ride them out for a while, then the journalists, old media journalists, will all forget about it and start writing stories like they're legitimate politicians, which they're not. They're crooks and criminals. Anyhow, I'll keep on following up on this. I don't think it'll be too long before another mainstream journalist writes some bullshit story uh, making out Scott Morrison as a legitimate person. They, they themselves will be getting a leak from the party room about how they, all the MPs respect Morrison and what he says. And Kangaroo Court of Australia is independent media. I publish a website and a YouTube channel, and I'm 100% crowdfunded from viewers like yourself. And I currently have 321 patrons donating $2,114 a month, and I really need to double that to become financially viable. So if you can support the Patreon account, I'd be greatly appreciated. You can donate any amount, $3, 5 10 15 20 30 40 $50 a month, whatever suits your budget. And there'll be a link to the Patreon account below this video on YouTube or, and also on my website. And please share this video on social media. Thank you for your time and have a good day.